ever thought of sharing your thoughts and ideas with the world? Do you have one too many creative projects? You should design a blog with Mailer Light, and I am going to show you how to do it. You can add a blog page at any time during the design process of your website, but I highly recommend adding it after you finish designing and structuring your website. I'm going to navigate to the sites page, select a website I previously designed, click on the edit button, and now we are transported to the drag and drop editor. So here we have a basic design and I'll create a new page, choose the blog option, and either keep it as a blog, I'm gonna call mine recipes, click save. Click on the edit icon here and you can define how many items per row and how many items per page. You can also play around with the blog settings, which will impact the information you let visitors see and also the look of the page. The categories at the top of the page represent the categories in your blog posts. And speaking of blog posts, let me show you how to create one. Click Save. Navigate to Sites. Make sure you're on the Website tab and choose the website you'd like to write a blog for. Click on Overview and then click on Blog. First, I'm going to show you how to create a category. Why do you need categories? You can actually run a blog without categories, but Categories help your SEO and the whole idea behind writing a blog and publishing posts on a regular basis is that people get to read your content. Categories can help. So to add a category, click on manage categories, then create categories and make sure to name your category with a keyword that is related to your blog posts. For example, my first category is food. Here you can see the details and slug. You can and should add the information needed to the SEO and social settings to increase the eyes on your content. You can create as many categories as you like. And remember, you can be specific. If you're writing a blog about cakes, create categories called cake, sweets, and desserts. If you create a post about smoothies, then create categories like smoothies, breakfast, health, and so on and so forth. Don't forget to save. So now back to posts. Click on create a post, give it a name. And here we're going to leave the title and slug as they are and add information to the rest of the fields. A summary of the post, add a featured image. And I'm going to turn on the heat map so I can see where visitors were most engaged on this post then at the bottom, you can check which categories fit this post. Remember that if you didn't add any categories, you won't have any down at the bottom of this page. When you're done, you can either save this or save and edit the content, which will take us right back to the blog post editor. Here you can simply add content by clicking the plus sign and choosing what content you'd like to add to your post. I'll quickly add a few items and edit them. Now, when you're done adding content and you're happy with how it looks, click on save and update and then save and publish. Now, when you go back to the website overview page and click on preview, you'll see that the post was automatically published on your website. You can always go back and edit posts if you need to by following the steps I demonstrated earlier. And if you want to learn more about web design with Made Light, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.